Okay, these are bells that are being controlled off of this controller here. So I'll show this. Then we thought it would be cooler if we could control it off of an electric piano. So if you can do it from a MIDI piano, why can't you do it from a MIDI key, um, computer? So what we did is uh, we connected it up. So. So you're probably asking, you probably want to know how this thing works. We come in from the computer, computer which is through the uh, tone generator over here. Then that comes through the opto isolator, which control, which goes to this blue line, which goes to the um, propeller chip. The propeller is a really cool microcontroller. Here's a new Parallax propeller chip, and it's going to um, two motor drivers or relay drivers or whatever. And then those go to the bells, little clappers inside here that are powered off of the solenoid. Um, we uh, decided to um, figure out if we can make our own custom board. So this is what it looks like. This is a MIDI in, and it goes to um, the circuitry for that. And then this port right there is a MIDI through, so it can be connected to other boards. And then it needed to have a microcontroller, so we used the um, Parallax propeller. That's the propeller chip. That's the microcontroller. It needed to have an um, encoder for user interface along with LCD headers. These four chips here are um, Darlington transistor arrays for um, giving like motor driver outputs. Total we can have 24 if we're not using the um, LCDs. LEDs are just indicators for the outputs. Uh, outputs are RJ45. So then we had to design the schematic. We used um, Express SEH, which is a PCB designing software and schematic designing software. And then um, we prototyped it on a big breadboard. And then um, we uh, turned it into a PCB. Yeah, we um, made four of these. And we designed them on the computer first. And then we um, got them sent to us. And then we. Um, soldered them up and put all the components on it. And then finally we put them in a um, Carillon tower like thing. So this is what we um, made. It has copper piping and we um, have little Cat5 cables that connect to the bells. Then there's RJ45 ports on this. Well, next year, instead of just playing bells, we're planning on connecting Christmas lights up with little solid-state relays so we can have a Christmas light show.